we back with another one. Today we got a single cab, a Mexican truck. This is actually a Mexican truck, a Cheyenne, um, built in Mexico, and everything is everything is Mexican on it. Um, this truck is badass. It's clean. I like the interior that he did. He did a, a high country interior swap. Um, this thing's badass. We're gonna be doing a weld on sunroof, and we are gonna be painting his roof to make it look clean make it look back OEM and we might be doing his door handles too he was just mentioning to me he wants his door handles color matched so we'll see on about that I do have this truck for two days I usually takes two days <clears throat> to paint get it prepped paint it paint the roof let it sit overnight here put the sunroof on and then finish everything else off we are gonna be doing a black suede black suede uh, headliner so it's just gonna look real nice, which watch wait until you see the interior. This thing's badass. Let's check it out. We got a Cheyenne here at Rob's Customs. It's got a shaved uh, three piece besides the sides. This thing's badass. He converted the doors to power. High country seats got the center console that's the center console i need for my truck anybody have a center console for my lifted sierra which i would like it that tan color if possible but uh this thing is badass i think he even has the denali cluster which you can see the whole thing is a screen mine has the uh, four little small gauges on top this thing is nice. All right, guys, so we're gonna be uh, removing the whole thing. We're gonna black out everything out. We're gonna paint. We're gonna do the usual. We'll paint the uh, visors, handles, uh, the mic for the truck, the console, um, and the side pillars. We're gonna go ahead and paint all that. That way it blends into the truck and it's gonna look real, real good since the back ones are already painted or already factory black we're just gonna top it off now with these trucks with the weld on sunroofs compared to the Wabastos the button on the Wabasto comes about right here you know and then it's cut out to about here because they're a little slimmer which they looks clean but uh, since they don't make the Wabastos no more all we have left is the weld on so I actually this is gonna be my first truck uh, at this year that I'm gonna be doing a sunroof on and I want to see how bad this console is pushed forward to where this it's gonna be in the way of the sunroof opening so I don't know yet I haven't seen any really trucks I did I think I saw one where they deleted the console and they just wrapped it over um, but I want to try see if I can save it so he can keep his console and then for future trucks at this year I'll be able to tell if I'll be able to install the sunroof with this console um that's just the name of the game when you're doing custom work you're adding bigger things on top it pushes everything else or you lose a few things here and there and depending on the size of the sunroof this thing would have looked clean with the wabasto you know five button maybe soft touch kit or even a two button uh the 311l but since there are no more he wants the bigger sunroof versus the slimmer one so I would think uh, either way if they had him he would still want to go with the bigger look but uh all right guys you know the drill we'll start taking everything off strip it get our measurements on top these things do have airbags some don't some do I actually didn't think this one did have airbags just because it's it was originally manual and it does it does have airbags which sucks because the way GM designed this puts the cylinders or the airbags right here in the way where my freaking bracket goes if it didn't have anything here like the older Chevys I cut this you know I cut the back part of this little metal piece to shove the sunroof back more to give clearance for stuff like this so if you didn't know that Chevy you need to go with Dodge Ram design and put your damn cylinders right here on the side. Dodge Ram has their cylinders right here, which which doesn't affect 
obviously any sunroof install. These are actually the con the cylinders are are actually also in the way of the regular Wabasta ones. You do have to remove them and slide them back. If not, you end up getting to the point to where this is. You get, you have to cut it about right here just to be able to install the buttons. So like I said, I like moving everything back to give clearance for the front. But now this is going to be a challenging one. Try to save this and uh, removing the back cylinders and making them go back more. But we'll see. We'll we'll think about it once we got it all stripped down, and we'll see what we can do. All right, guys, we got everything stripped out. Cut the back part of it. You can see what it looks like. You gotta cut that center part out. And then I do trim the back part so I can try to slide the sunroof as much as I can back. Well, that's what it's looking like now. I do cover the I do cover the whole interior with the welding blanket and then cover up the airbags from getting sparks. I do cover it all up, take care of it. So I do have the airbag cylinders here. Just hanging here, they do go on top. But like I said, with the sunroof going in there, you do have to cut. You do have to cut a little bit more of this metal, so it slides into this back part here, and they tuck in right at the very back. So you still have room for your sunroof kit. All right, guys, I'm gonna. I marked out my center line. I'm gonna mark it off on the sunroof and then install the bracket, cut it out. All right, guys, we got the top welded in, brackets welded in. First coat of bodywork, as you can see. I'm gonna let that dry. And we're gonna go ahead and block it, put some guide coat on it, so we can go ahead and see our lower high spots. And if I hit it with one more uh, body filler, skim coat of filler, if anything pops up, if not, we're gonna go ahead and prime it, 2K. We're gonna let it sit. We'll sand it down with like 220. Throw some guide coat over it to see if anything pops up. And then we'll reprime it. And then we'll hit it with like 400, 220, 320, 400. And then we'll get it ready for paint. All right guys, we got the roof all prepped up. We're gonna shoot some 2K on it. It focuses. We're gonna shoot some 2K on it. We're gonna block it, guide coat, and then get it shoot it again with the primer 2K, and then we'll get it ready. For <clears throat> All right, guys, body work is done. I got the first layer of uh, 2K primer with some guide coat on it. I'm gonna let that flash off, and then I'm gonna sand it, sand it again, see if there's any imperfections, anything that pops out. Then I'll hit it again with 2K, some more guide coat, and I'll wet sand it down with like 500. And then I'll be ready for some red paint. All right guys, we got the base coat all done. I'm gonna go ahead and I hit it with three coats of uh, base. I'm gonna hit it with three coats of clear. And let it cure. All right guys, headliner is done. And the cool thing about this is I was able to keep the top console. It's crazy because it's, it's bigger than the other one from the I believe that uh, 2007 to 2013 and on the other one it barely fits and this one barely fits too so and I thought this one was a little bigger but here it is it's looking good all right guys final product let's check it out